Okay, so welcome back. And in this video, here's the definition. I'm going to go through this uh, slowly. There's a lot to write down. So again, if you want to write it down for your notes, pause the video. Uh, but I'm going to read through it and explain some things that uh, I uh, wanted to make sure you guys understood before we go on. So again, an infinite sequence denoted by this symbol is an ordered list of numbers of the form A1, A2, A3, through A sub N, and so on. Okay, so there's an infinite number of terms, okay, in the sequence. Now, the subscript N, okay, so let's fill in some things. So, infinite sequence, okay. So, the subscript N is called the index variable of the sequence. Each number in the sequence is called a term of the sequence. Okay. Now, sometimes sequences are defined by explicit formulas in which case a sub n equals f sub n. Okay, so here's one thing that I didn't mention before. So if we can write an infinite sequence as a explicit formula, then we can look at a sub n as a function of n, where n takes on only integer values. So in other words, f of n um, is a function of the positive integers. Okay? In other cases, sequences are defined by using what's called a recursive or recurs a recurrence relation or what we call being defined recursively. And in this case, what we give what we have is we start with one or more terms that are given explicitly, and then the other terms, the subsequent terms are given in terms of the earlier uh, terms. So in other words, we start by being given the first one or two or more uh, terms in the sequence to get it going. And then each subsequent term is defined in terms of the previous terms. Okay, so again, we've done examples of those. So this is the definition of an infinite sequence, okay? So going forward, we're gonna use this definition to be able to, one, write uh, a sequence as an explicit formula, or write an a sequence recursively, okay? Um, and how to do that. Again, this is where, and I, this is a tough, I'm telling you right now, infinite sequences and series is tough for a lot of students, okay? So you've got to practice this, okay? Just doing it once or twice and you think you got it, you're gonna find yourself struggling and you're gonna sink like a stone in water, okay? So you gotta make sure that you stay on top of the definition because sequences, you have to understand sequences when we get in the series, okay? So please don't um, gloss over this, okay? So make sure you spend time reviewing and practicing this stuff, okay? You, you, it will save you later on, okay? So with no further ado, we'll get in and jump and do some examples. And again, the examples I do um, are just to show you, but I would do more, you know? Okay, see you then.